The calculator can help you do so many great things in calculus, whether that's finding a derivative or finding an integral. There are so many things we can do on the calculator, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the derivative on a TI-84 calculator. So in this problem, we are going to evaluate f prime of negative 2. That means we want to take this function f of x and find the derivative and evaluate the derivative at negative 2. And the great thing is our calculator can do all of this for us. Now, of course, we can also find this derivative by hand. And if you'd like to watch a video about how to find a derivative, click here to watch that. So now let me show you how we would find this derivative on the graphing calculator. So the first thing we would need to do is we would want to press the math button. And because we're finding a derivative, we're going to go down to the eighth option. You can either use the arrow here to go down, or you can simply just press the number eight and it'll pull up the derivative option. We want to take the derivative with respect to the x variable, so you'll press this button here. And then you will type in the function. So our function was 3x to the fourth power minus 2x squared plus 1. And so when we type it in here, the calculator is going to find the derivative of this function and then evaluate it at, and in our problem, we wanted to evaluate this function, or sorry, this derivative rather, at the x value of negative two. And if you press enter, whoops, I press plus, go back, erase. All right, press enter, let's try that again. It'll give you the value. Now, if I move my head out of the way, you can see that it gives us this like decimal answer with a 0.24 at the end. So the actual derivative of this function evaluated at negative two is just the number negative 88. And I know that because I calculated this derivative by hand just to check my work and I did get the exact number of negative 88. So remember the calculator is kind of doing its best to approximate the derivative. So get rid of these decimals after and we know the derivative of this function evaluated at negative two is only negative 88. Let me also show you another cool way you can find this derivative and that's using the graph of the function. So I'm going to go to y equals, I'm going to type in our same function of three x to the fourth minus two x squared plus one. And let's take a look at that graph. So if you want to calculate the derivative from a graph, you're going to press second trace to get to the calculate screen. And you can see right down here, number six says dy dx. And that is the same notation of f prime of x. So this means the same thing as the derivative. So you can either go down to option six or just press six. And then you simply just start typing the number you want to find the derivative at. So I want to find the derivative at negative two, and you'll see this box pop up down here where you can type in the x value and press enter, and there it is. Once again, it's giving you the, the derivative of this function evaluated at negative two. And again, the exact value is negative 88, so just cut off these numbers, and we would say that, going back to our original problem here, I would say that f prime of negative two is equal to negative 88. And that's how you evaluate a derivative on your TI-84 calculator. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to click subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to see more calculus videos and give it a like and comment below about any questions you may have or any comments that you have. And we will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.